America is caught up in eclipse fever. A sea of humanity is heading to what's called the path of totality, where the total solar eclipse will be visible on Monday. And that's led to massive traffic jams and overbooked flights and hotels. So we've got your eclipse survival guide. Excitement is at a fever pitch for Monday's history-making total eclipse event. Cities and towns from Texas to Maine are preparing for a whole lot of out-of-towners. Millions of people are making the trip straight into the path of totality, the swath of America that will be plunged into darkness. It's a rare phenomenon. It will not return for decades. Hertz says rental car bookings for this weekend are up 3,000%. Searches for Airbnb rentals are up 1,000%. The cost of plane tickets is out of this world. I had to buy a ticket for NBC to go from here in D.C. to Indianapolis. $2,000, 2000 bucks round trip. I was stunned. The traffic into the path of totality is expected to equal 20 or 30 Super Bowls. In New York, a state of emergency has been declared as one million tourists are expected to pour into Niagara Falls to witness the cosmic event. After the last eclipse in 2017, getting home was a nightmare. Check out the traffic in rural Oregon. And once you get there, there's no guarantee you'll get the full total eclipse experience. The weather is not cooperating. It's not looking too good. This is the potential for cloud cover. Right but now, eclipse enthusiasts are undeterred. Heading south for the eclipse. Dan Lang is driving 16 hours from Minnesota to Austin, Texas, with his son Samuel and pet parrot Pearl. They said it may be cloudy, but Texas, even in April, if it can get above 78, it's going to clear off. We're, I've got a good feeling about it. We asked AAA's Alex Slatke for some eclipse driving tips. Don't wear the eclipse glasses while you're driving. I mean, that's tip number one. They're not sunglasses, They're not right? sunglasses. I'm envisioning people just stopping their car in the middle of the highway and looking up. Probably advise against that, right? Certainly advise against that. We'd want anyone that's on the road to be looking at the road and also be on the lookout for pedestrians that might be wandering around looking up. Good advice as we all get ready for the total eclipse of America. A total eclipse of the heart.